What's up guys, it's Simon. So, today, I want to talk to you about the vision shell. Now I want to tell you a little bit before I actually show you my vision shell and talk to you about that. Um, I can't remember how I stumbled upon the image, but I was looking up stuff on Google Images, and I came across this shell that had words glued on it, and it had something to do with the vision board. I was looking up, oh, I think I was like looking up vision board ideas because I wanted to create a vision board. And I ended up finding that picture and I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. And it was kind of witchy with it being on a on a shell, you know. Anything that's natural, um, even if it's small, is um, it tends to have a pagan-esque witchy vibe to it. At least I think so. But um, I found that. I was like, I have to do that. And then I ended up finding out that I had my own shell that I could work with, so I was very excited about that. So, I know that I've mentioned it probably once or twice in a couple of videos, and um, I actually got it done yesterday in the Sawin montage, but as you heard in the last video, that um, didn't pan out as I thought. So, so yeah. I think that's all I wanted to share with it. So this is just my take on the shell, the uh, vision shell, which is a take on uh, the vision board. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is my vision shell. Um, if you see that color discoloration back there, this was at once um, my incense holder, like a long time ago. Um, and it actually, you can't see it because it got covered up mostly, but there's actually a ring from the cone incense that I burned up. I probably didn't have sand in it, thinking that I wouldn't have to with it being a shell. I don't know why, but I did. So, there are 13 words on here, and I think it's about, yeah, it's about the size of my palm, which I'm going to say is about 5 to 6 inches um, wide, and maybe about four to five inches from the end of the palm to the top of the palm. So it's roughly within there. I'm going to say probably more accurately three by two. Um, and this has 13 words on it. Now, I was originally thinking about doing 21, but I was like, that's going to be too many words for me to focus on this year. And I oh, it would also probably be too many for the shell. So then I decided, you know, 13's just as magical. Uh, 13 powers of a witch, 13 months in the magical year. So basically, I could, if I wanted to, I could spend, you know, one month for each word. Um, so let's go into it. Now, I did a little bit of color magic, or I guess the proper term would be a color association. And um, so you see in here, the, fir the word that's kind of supposed to be in the center is declutter. And that's basically my main focus for this year. I kind of put it in the center because I think it's the most important thing that I need to work on this year. I also believe that I can't work on the other words until I have decluttering under my belt, so to speak. And um, I I've even incorporated the word declutter in regards to my altar. You know, as I mentioned, I removed a lot of the extra stuff that was on my altar so I could have more space on it. So I'm really just trying to work with that right now. And the color for that is white. Um, as you notice, a lot of these were in black backgrounds. I had to print them off as white words with a black text box um, because the library doesn't have color printing. So I ended up printing them in white fonts, so that way I could color them with the colors that I deemed appropriate. So the uh, declutter word I left alone. Um, we'll just move up. Masculinity, that's something I really want to hone in on this year and hopefully even get it like, I don't want to say resolved, but understood, I guess. Really figure out how am I going to, how do I see myself as a man? What do I define as my masculinity? What do I, how do I want to express my masculinity? So that's what I want to do with that. And then there's friendship. I really want to work on networking um, because I'm so, e it's so easy for me to just isolate myself 
and I don't even like get depressed from it or um get any like psychological triggers that would say oh you need to like go out and about and socialize like it, it I'm totally comfortable doing that and with the career path that I want to take um let's just say that isolating myself is not the way to get into that career path or to even be successful in it so I want to work on that I want to work on wellness and the reason why I picked wellness instead of health is because um I don't want it to just be body health or mental health. I want it to be, you know, me being happy, me living well, having a wellness lifestyle. Now, this one kind of ties into the decluttering, and it's it's not really popping up, but it's organized. Oh, there we go. Um, and that is kind of basically um, kind of self-explanatory. I want things to, I want to have a more organized, mundane life. One One of the things I try and do to keep a balance is to have a, let the chaos stay in my magic life and have a more orderly mundane life now obviously i don't go about this strictly i do let a little chaos in the mundane and like <clears throat> in the mundane life excuse me and a little order in the magical life as well and i forgot to mention masculinity is in burgundy friendships in uh, gold and yellow wellness is in orange and organized is in blue now, over here, in this little corner, we have dreams. Now, dreams kind of relates to the aspirations and goals. But the reason why I picked dreams is because I want to not just be structured and do it this way. And I want to make sure that I was doing things that fulfill me, make me happy, and basically living my joy. And that's an indigo. Moving back down, we have nature, which is in light brown. Nature was a card that I pulled out of my um, angel prayer oracle deck for this year and I didn't really engage much in nature this year like I thought um, so I, I'm kind of carrying that over for this year this says voice and it's in yellow um, I will say it doesn't have to do with my speaking voice but I don't think I'm ready to share that just yet um, yeah so I'm just gonna leave that alone let you use your imagination so this says stability, and that's um, supposed to be a darker brown, but the lighting's making it lighter. And that kind of ties into a lot of the other words that are in here. I really just want to have a, you know, be stable, and I want to be independent, which is in red. So I want to work on independence, which will help give me stability. Um, balance, which will help also help bring stability. Um, have stability in um, my masculinity and friendship and my wellness and being organized. So... Um, I also want to be balanced, which is in gray. Um, balanced lifestyle. You know, being a gray witch, that's very important to me. So over here I have money, and when I, I don't know if you can make out, but when I saw this font, I immediately kind of thought of, like, the bank fonts that they use to create their, um, signs above the bank. And so I used that, and if you realize it's also next to peace, balance, and independence. And a little, not too far off from stability either. And that was not necessarily intentional, but it does apply. They do kind of relate together. Um, so this kind of just one means I want to make my own money. Remember that make money and to have um that I can't just fool around. I do need to take things more seriously. And then this little word here is peace. Um, something I want to work on myself as well. Inner peace and outer peace. So that's my vision show. I hope it inspired you to create your own. And so this will be sitting on my altar um, on top of the, oh, you can't see it, on top of the magnolia leaf, which, um, for, for those of you who don't know, it was actually attached to my altar cloth when I brought it from inside because I was hanging the altar cloth on the, on the um, what's it called, the clothesline to dry and apparently it caught one of the leaves and brought it inside. And it's not an old leaf. I don't know if you can tell, but it's still kind of green. So it was one of the newer ones that it got caught on and just brought it inside. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just sit it there. And um, so, yeah, every time that I come to my altar, I can see my vision show, given that a little magical working isn't in the way. But I can see my vision show and just be reminded of my focus. So, like I said, I hope it inspires you to make your own. If you do make your own, please tag me in your video or, like, 
message me or comment below that you did a video so I can go check it out and I'd love to see it. Um, and as always, thank you for watching and blessed be my dear witchlings.